あーけーほほほー !What does it look like I'm doing, man? Huh? Well, we're gonna get Caradinas. We're gonna get Caradinas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and why would that make me excited? Because they're expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. And I've been working on this tank for over five months and it still doesn't have any animals in it. And we're gonna go get some. So we're going on a road trip and picking these、uh, shrimp up. And then when we get there, we're gonna show all the shrimp that this man sells. And look at all of that, and we'll go from there. Super excited. Oh, hey, thanks to all the new subscribers. Stick around because we're going to see some cool stuff today, aren't we? Yeah. All right, high five. Tara Dana Shrimp, let's go get them. Yeah. Hi. All right, here we are. Welcome back. Where are we at, guys? Joe Shrimp Shack. Joe Shrimp Shack. And yes, it looks tiny, and his shop is inside an auto place, but. You know, he sells shrimp. He doesn't need that large of a building.、Uh, so let's go inside and meet the man himself. My man? <laughs> Are you the man? I don't I, know. I think I'm the man. <laughs> He's the man, apparently. I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are with the man Joe himself. What's up?、Uh, this man, I started buying shrimp from him about a year ago. I started with Neil Caradina's. Um, I have hundreds of them now. And hundreds? I, hundreds. And I've been prepping myself for months and months and months to do caradinas because they are arguably one of the most difficult freshwater animals to take care of and thrive.、Um, you know, so that's what we're doing here today.、Yeah. And he does ship. So I'm going to drop、sure、a link、deal. below. You,、uh, you see some shrimp. I'm going to show some stuff that you may like. He'll mail them out to you. And.、Uh, We'll go from there and also his YouTube channel because if you want tutorials on how to take care of caradinas, because you can't just wake up one day and say, I want caradinas. You need to do your research. I'll be doing a new video on how to reset a tank. So, a lot of the caradinas, the soil only lasts two years, maybe three years. I'm at four years on some of the soil, so I need to redo it. So, I'm going to do a tutorial of how to redo it the proper way. That's fantastic.、Um, I'm not quite there yet, but、uh, now that I've had this tank, it's almost six months. But I have plenty of biofilm. I learned that from you. Babies need to have a whole layer of glass, needs to be covered in biofilm because the parents are going to kick the babies away from the shrimp food. So they, they are dependent on biofilm. So let's take a look at He has some awesome shrimp.、Um, first, I want to show off these、uh, galaxy fish bone that he has. These are black galaxy fish bone. Here's some boas up here if you want to see some boas. Oh, yeah, boas. And boas are expensive, guys. You go looking on the internet and you see them for $900, don't be shocked.、Uh, yeah. Those are some great looking boas. And,、uh, of course, some PRLs. That means uh, uh, it's a pure line of、uh, crystal reds. And、uh, let's see. Oh, you got the、uh, Santa Claus crystal reds in here.、Yep. Those are pretty cool. And the blue bolts are a popular. But what he has that I really love is he has the extreme blue bolts where they're solid blue. And, and now that you see, whenever you see shrimp on the internet, they look a lot larger than they are. This is how big shrimp really are they're tiny. <clears throat> Red fancy tigers. Yeah. Look at that. And his prices are great. I've never had a shrimp die that I bought from him, but I also make sure that my tank is proper before I put anything in there.、Uh, so these are BKK that stands、uh, for Black King Kong. Great looking shrimp. All right. And some tangerine tigers. Here we are. What else we got? Oh, Black Fancy Tiger. Any super tigers in here? Oh, they're in the very rear. Hard to. There's tons of super tigers in the blind. 
And let's see, over here I saw some red bolts. I love those. Look at these. Look at these red bolts and some red tigers he's got mixed in here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I wish I could buy them all. I really do. I have a tank large enough for it. All right, and so and I'm going to leave the shrimp that I buy a mystery, and I will see you all back at my house and talk about how I'm going to drip acclimate them and all of that. So, uh, oh, and also keep in mind, he knows shrimp needs plants. He always has a full stock of all kinds of plants. I buy my plants from this guy, too. So, and look at these crazy fish. What are the glass painted fish? That's crazy. Plants galore, moss, all of that, everything you would ever need for shrimp, of course. And then this is his personal tank that he made. This one I could sit and stare at for hours. This is how good he is of an aquascaper. All of his products, and of course, wood everywhere. I'm sure he'll mail you some wood. Wood galore. It, yep. Yeah, had so much wood, he didn't have anywhere else to put it but the ceiling. So, there you go. All right. Now I'm going to pick out my shrimp. We'll see you guys shortly. All right. So, I've got the bag set up um, with my uh, hose line for the drip acclimation. I'm going to show you what that looks like. This is going to take a long time. So, there's going to be several cuts. Um, but, I'm going to turn this off and then turn it around and show you what you need to do with the, your TDS meter and then um, how slow your drip should be going into the bag of uh, shrimp that I got. Uh, which we will get to a point where I'm going to do the dump and you'll get to see them scatter off in there. And you haven't seen them yet. It's still a surprise. I got some good ones. So one second. All right, first things first, I need to check the TDS of the water they came from. Came in at 92. That's pretty low. I don't think mine's that low. Let me check. Let's check mine. Mine is at 111. All right, so we're close. Uh, so let me turn this off. All right, so the drip acclimation is going to take as long as it's going to take. I need them to match. We're off by about 20 parts per million. I've got my hose here. Let's see, I have it. there. It's a drip. I set the lining up with this adjuster that allows me to adjust how much water I want coming out at a time. About one drop every couple seconds is good. I will put this in here and about every 20 minutes or so I'll check the TDS in there and you know until they are both exact then we do the dump you know and depending on the difference you know, uh, it can take hours, it can take overnight, it just depends. But I did my due diligence and, um, you know, made sure that my tank waters were as close as possible to his because I already knew what his parameters are like. I shop from Joe all the time. So, and I, I got pretty close. So, this should be a lot quicker than uh, normal. But just so you know, Caradinas cannot survive in. Uh, water that has a TDS above 150 and that's even pushing it. So we'll talk about their other parameters Their parameters uh, here in a minute whenever it's time to dump them in and uh, the tank is done We'll do a close-up of some other work that I did with this cholo wood and all that so uh, See you here again in a few seconds. Well for you in a few seconds uh, for me. I don't know hours. I don't know All right, Uno momento por favor all right, we are back. So we're done with the drip acclimation. Uh, it took about uh, a little under two hours. Uh, my parameters were 
so close to what they were where I got them, so it didn't take nearly as long. Uh, so we are going to show you, you know, we're building up to that, but uh, before we show, Alex, what two types of uh, Caradina shrimp did we get today? We got pure L, which means pure red, pure red lines, and red bull shrimps. Right, and uh, pure red line shrimp are, uh, mean they are pure colored crystal red shrimp. Okay, now they look the same, but they're not. Crystal red shrimp are the cheaper uh, version they are clear they are not they are not truly that color all the way through when uh, pure red lines they they are truly that color through the shell and through their guts that that is their uh, actual color and they are more valuable um, uh, line of Caradina. I'll hold the camera while I dump them in and let's let's see how they react to their new habitat. Cool. All right. One second. All right, Alex, you got a good hold of that camera? Yeah. All right, don't budge. We are going to dump the shrimp in. Stop! Okay. All right. So here's one, PRL. It already clung on to a uh, to one of the logs. Let's see if we can. Find oh, here's one. And he's already eating. Oh, oh, the red bolt. All right, we're finding them. Yeah. Where? Hold on. Where? Oh. Right there. There we go. Finally. There's one. There's two. Here's the red bolt. That's three. That's four. And that's. So there's well, more. Oh, and one on this route. And by the way, pothos are not poisonous to shrimp. Uh, at some point on one of my videos, I had a subscriber try to tell me that pothos are not poisonous to anything. That is some old wives tell someone started at some point and it is, uh, it is not true. They are completely harmless. Let's get another close look at this this guy right here. Aren't those gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And this one too. It looks like just a regular orange shrimp. Yep. Man, that's awesome. And, and look at this giant chunk of chola wood. Oh, there's one on top of it. Yeah, this was the new addition. Uh, I added this cholo wood and shaved it down to size to fit all the way across from front to back with Anubius on both sides. So these these guys are hooked up. Next month, when I have more money, I'm going to add some uh, Galaxy Tigers. And uh, we'll keep going. You know, this tank can hold thousands of shrimp. All right, it's been a, a long day, a fun one, uh, really exciting. And um, how, do you, how do you feel about how the shrimp look, man? They look really cool. It was a lot of driving we had to do to go get them right. You know, and a lot of work. I mean, this, this tank, we let it run for five plus months. You know, and at first, I thought I wanted to put larger fish in there, but then I realized, yeah, I could hold six, six inch long uh, fish, but if any of them had kids, I wouldn't have room for them. 
and I realized um, I had one last, um, you know, feat I wanted to conquer in the freshwater um, world, and that's Caradinas. Um, you know, and I, I did a lot of studying and a lot of research for Caradinas because the first, and I, and, and I film when I fail. The very first ghost shrimp I failed. I killed that because I didn't do it right. For my first attempt with Neo Caradinas, um, I failed with those. I, I killed my first one, you know, and through both of those shrimp, I learned through my failure. Now, Caradinas, you know, they're so expensive, uh, I can't afford that, you know, to just have them die because I made a small mistake. So, you know, I mean, the water is perfect. Uh, I'll do a follow-up, you know, so if they do die, yes, I will report that to you all. Um, but I really hope that I'm successful w with these Uh I didn't make a single mistake with the water, so if they die, it's going to take some serious investigating to, to see where I went wrong, and we'll talk about the parameters uh, then. But we did the math. Mm -hmm. This 55-gallon tank can hold over 2,000 Caradina shrimp, and uh, we're going to be doing all kinds. Eventually, we, we want we, we like those Red Galaxy shrimp. Was that one of your favorites that you saw? We'll get those in there. I love the fancy tigers. I want to get some of those in there. We're going to stick all around near kind of like the red and whites, you know, so uh, they, they, they're they popping. So um, anyway, man, let, 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 let's uh, close this out. And, um, y you know, uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And if you're not, if you're down in the dumps, go up and get up and do something. That's right. Get up and do something about it. We appreciate you all. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.